Hey Bruin Club, Oso Bruin here to teach you a new game. All you'll need to play Komikan and Adugo is this printed board and one sheet of paper to cover up the extra parts that you won't need of the board and you can go back and forth between the games. Remember, they have very different strategies. Komikan, or El León y las Orejas, or El León que come todo, or El Come Todo, is a two-player game where unequal forces battle. For this game, Komikan, you'll need four of one color to represent the tigers, and 20 of another color to represent the dogs or sheep, or in Espanol, perros or ovejas. Place the tigers or tigres at the four corners of the board. Para empezar, necesita poner los tigres por cada esquina de la tabla. The players can choose who goes first. Los jugadores deciden cómo empezar. Aquí decidimos que los perros empezarán. Here we have dogs moving first. Before the dogs can move, each of the 20 pieces must be placed on the board. While the tigers are able to move about and jump over the dogs to eat them and remove them from play, the dogs cannot eat the tigers. Recuerdan que aunque los tigres sí pueden saltar y comer a los perros, los perros no pueden saltar ni comer a los tigres. Coloca cada perro antes de mover. El tigre salta el perro para comerlo y se quita de la tabla. Recuerden que los perros no pueden comer a los tigres. Now that all 20 dogs have been placed, the dogs can also move now. To win, the tigers must eat five dogs, or the dogs must stalemate the tigers. Para ganar, los tigres se comen cinco perros, o los perros tienen que estancar a los tigres. Aquí tenemos un ejemplo de cómo puede ganar los perros y otro de cómo puede ganar los tigres. Here we have an example of how the dogs can win and then another of how the tigers can win. And here's how the game ends. Y aquí termina el desafío. Hey Bruin Club, Oso Bruin here to teach you a new game. This one's called a Dugo. To play a Dugo, you'll need one colored stone for the tiger or the tigre and 14 differently colored stones to represent the dogs or los perros. There are three different ways to set up the board with the main difference being where the tiger starts. You can start the tiger next to the dogs, where the square and the triangle meet, or at the center of the triangle. Para empezar, ustedes pueden elegir poner el tigre donde toca el cuadrado y el triángulo, en el centro del triángulo, o al lado de los perros. For a dugo, the tiger moves first. To win, the tiger must eat five dogs. Or, the dogs must stalemate the tiger. Para ganar, el tigre necesita comer cinco perros. O los perros tienen que estancar al tigre. Aquí tenemos un ejemplo de cómo puede ganar los perros y otro de cómo puede ganar el tigre. Y aquí
aquí termina el desafío. Here we have an example of how the tiger can win, and then another of how the dogs can win. And this is how the game ends.